Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I'm your host, Anon Jr., and I've got a couple little bits of uh, updates to, to show, talk about, and then we'll get to a little bit of redstone and hopefully uh, a little more work done on the river project. First things first, I do want to see how much cacti has accumulated because instead of turning it into sand, which I desperately need for the sandstone fortress, I've been trying to build up enough sand and cacti. Hmm, that, that might actually that might actually do it. Uh, I can't remember if it was one stack or two to fill a layer. Uh, I'll have to go back and look at my previous video and see how that goes. Either way, uh, that's doing okay. All right, let's, uh, whoop. there we go. That's all we're getting for right now. Still, that's, if that's not what we need, it is close enough. Um, because <clears throat> I still need to turn, uh, turn, tear down this sugarcane farm so I can put a second and maybe even a third layer to this cactus farm. I need I need a lot more cacti because I need to get sand quicker and that's the only trade in the game that does it unfortunately the other thing that happened since we last were live I got my trading hall back everybody's back in their place uh, if you remember, I had the, the mysterious vanishing villagers, and I have since name-tagged them, and we'll, 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 we'll see how they go. Uh, nice thing, this guy actually gave me efficiency 5 relatively quickly, and a couple other trades. I will probably not use projectile projection 1, but the thorns I, I've actually been kind of thinking about. And efficiency, yeah, always. Especially since it is efficiency 5. It's a little pricey, but it's there. And he's one of my glass traders now. And this guy, I've got my sharpness 5 guy back. Uh, cheaper than the last time, which is good. And another glass trader, which is going to come in handy. And this guy got me the protection 4 again, which is good. And another glass trader. So I've actually got it. So this dude is the only Ori is the only one who uh, doesn't offer me a glass trade you're slacking man all right so that that took a little bit of doing it the, these guys were not cooperative in getting the trades that I was looking for but what else is new let me toss this in here for the moment and onward and forward to some of, the, some of the next stuff, too. I will try to get some emeralds because I need to start stocking up on more of the glass and blue dye. Pumpkin Farm's been doing pretty good. I let it run overnight, and uh, yeah, there we go. 40, yeah, 44, <laughs> 44 dirt worth right there. And, uh, and a jack-o'-lantern. The, yeah, the melon side of this thing is ridiculous. I I will need to work on the auto shutoff for this at some point in the very, very near future. And, and I, depending on if I can get this finished, finished, I might do something similar where I run a series of redstone torches under under these blocks or in front of those blocks probably gonna have to be in front of now now that I think about it and ooh, two blocks out do I have two blocks on the other side I do not have two blocks on the other side hmm decisions will need to be made but not right now so let me let me gather up the the dirt from these guys here and again that sat overnight um, let's see how many more uh oh there we go so that's two stacks of dirt after a night afk just out of those two farms right there 
not too shabby. I haven't been using the manual farm much either. Uh, which I probably should. But I'm not sure what I'm short of that I, would, that I would actually need. Although, it'd probably be nice to get a little bit of stock for... For the, uh, for the protein farm. But, the problem I'm running into is... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. And... Yeah, I'm at 62 of 64 animals. I, I'm... You know, I didn't think of it. I'm wondering if that's actually stopping the wandering trader from appearing. I don't think it would. But now, now I'm, now I'm really wondering. Oh, I need some, uh, <laughs> I need some redstone components. Uh, I never would have thought the pumpkin pie would have been a redstone component, but here we are. All right, let me get. Another block, just in case. Some more dust, just in case. A couple of torches, just in case. I don't think I'll need more of these, but I'd rather have them and not need them than the other way around. Uh, <coughs> Alright, that's almost certainly more than I actually needed. So here is the deal. The wool farm's been going pretty well. I've got the individual on off. So if I want to I want to turn off one or more of the colors of wool, like you know, I don't need any more pink. So I'll flip that switch that keeps that powered and the shears will never trigger. Uh, same for the magenta and the purple. Uh, I've also got a master shutoff over here so once that's powered it will turn the entire farm on or off uh, although it gets overridden by these switches here my problem is this doesn't seem to want to stop when when this is full or close enough to full and that does seem to be the problem. Uh, if you remember last time, I had uh, that composter running into here, and I had it in subtract mode, and that stopped it when it was about halfway full. Maybe maybe a little less than halfway full, closer to a third. Hey, Axonim, how you doing? We are getting ready to, to try to decipher uh, some redstone problems. So, fair warning. <laughs> Frustration shall ensue. Um, one of the problems that I'm running into, though, is... Oh, oh, let's... Oh, there we go. I don't know what signal strength is coming out of here. Nothing. Not a thing. Which is why this doesn't think it's time to shut it off yet, even though... My cart won't move because that is full. So what I'm thinking is, right now that is a power level of 1 being subtracted from a power level of 15, which gives us 14. So four, a power level 14 is going into that comparator. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, okay, so that is 13 at its current power level. So what I, what I think I need to do is, all right, so that's 14 because that's one. 13 because that's 2, 12? Uh, oh, there we go. I never
never in a million years expected that pumpkin pies would become a redstone component. Alright, that might be it right there. Because that now shuts it off. Because this is at a sufficiently high level. That might actually be it. So, power level 15. This comparators and subtract note mode. So 15 minus uh, 3, 2, 3. I think I set it at 3. Well, easy way to tell. Let's just uh, pop that right there. Oh, because that's going to give me the 15 from that. Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll. Uh, yeah, so that is 3. So we got 15 minus 3 going into the side of that. And uh, there we go. That gives us the signal strength to turn it off, and not too soon. Uh, once that is full enough, that should that should work. I will probably come back later and fill in all the uh, all the stacks of wool and carpet that I'm missing over in main storage, and the and then we'll go from there. That works. That works. How are the shears doing? Alright, everything's doing pretty good. They actually shouldn't be that worn down. Because unlike the season two, season two, see, this is season two. Unlike the season one farm, uh, these aren't filling as big a storage silo. So, alright, most of those are okay. Eventually, I'm probably going to want to combine all these busted ones and top them off. But that is not today. That is most definitely not today. I also think next time I need to not use iron blocks. Now that I got the uh, now that I got the wool to do it, I might need to do uh, wool blocks. Of course, this is part of the problem with dumping every color into one giant storage box. This bottom box is not completely full, but because the five colors that uh, ended up getting stuck in the hopper are the ones that are full, it, it'll never top off the orange or the red or the lime or any of that. So definitely, definitely, definitely doing the same wool farm that we did in season one when we get to season three. Which, is my cart not going? I needed to do one more pickup. Yeah, my cart is not going. Go, do one more pickup. No, no shark here. But I'm sure we can find something. Alright. So that is doing its thing. That is all turned off. And... Yeah, so I think I'll end up doing something similar on the crop, on the melon pumpkin farm, where I've got a line of torches that will turn on or off all of the, uh, all of the pistons and such. And did, how long have I left that random clod of dirt there? Do I want to know? Why is there just a random blot of dirt? Pretty sure I don't want to know. I mean, I do, but memory? Yeah, yeah. So I think what I'll want to do... Actually, no, I might be able to do this in... Hmm...
because I want to run a strip of blocks behind this. And basically what I want to happen is when the hopper down there is starting to get backed up, it will run a line of power to each of these redstone lines. So that way all the pistons are extended. And I will puzzle that one later. Because the, the other... The reason why I had to do that one the way I did is I also didn't want, when that happens, it to trigger everything else on either side. I just wanted to trigger the two pistons that it's supposed to. Um, and that's why... Oh, that's a bit of a drop. Uh, that's why this is the way it is. Because, if you remember, I tried a different setup and every time... Every time one of the sheep flashed, it actually triggered every dispenser in the row. And I want to get a similar problem solved over there. Where each time... Each time a melon is harvested, or a pumpkin is harvested, it doesn't trigger everything in the row. And I might want to make that bigger. Just because. No good reason. Uh, I... I need to go look at... Guardian Farm Designs, because I think I'll go ahead and set the Guardian Farm up in this chunk. Uh, I know it's a slime chunk, but if I do it right, I think I can do it, so that way no slime spawn in there, and it gives me a little bit more usable real estate. I still have no idea what I'm doing with this double chunk here. All right. Let me put all this redstone stuff away, and then we'll get to the we'll get to the river. Of course, I can't say that without thinking about Willow, and forget the bird. Follow the river. Kids, ask your parents. Before Val Kilmer was unable to get a uh, get a gig anywhere anymore. I'm actually kind of surprised uh, Arcadius isn't. <laughs> yes, Willow was a great movie. It, it was one of a, one of a few standards that uh, if I was ever homesick, it would be on very frequently. Yeah. <laughs> that way. No, that way. And I didn't realize it until I started getting into some of the, the film stuff later that Willow was pretty groundbreaking in the use of blue screen technology, the predecessor to what would become green screen. Uh, it, it, it was one of the... It was the one of the first movies to make extensive use of blue screens for all the scenes with the brownies. Uh, it's also where, where <laughs> we, we found out for good or for ill that um, blue was not the right color to use for that particular technology. Because for some for some reason it just it doesn't filter properly. I mean, it's, it was the easiest for us to filter initially, but you definitely saw a lot of feathering around the edges of people, and it looked a lot, a lot faker. Uh, whereas the green screen that we're using, uh, that we're using now, Thor, come on, man, get get on your trades. I thought these were the Iron Mountains. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to get out of them. Is that all I'm getting out of you? Oh. Okay, I'll take one more. That's it? Okay, that's it. Yeah, so, lots of fun to be had there. Um, 
I mentioned in the announcement in a couple of different places that we do have we get a couple of a couple of bits of business to take care of too. With 1.18 around the corner, we are planning tentatively to wrap up season two, our Skyblock season, on December 31st. And tentatively going to start season three back in another vanilla world on January 1st. So we'll go back to playing a little more vanilla Minecraft uh, using same or similar data packs and resource packs that uh, that we, we used in season one. Mm, sorry. Um, and that, that should, should start on January 1st. So I really want to finish that river project before we call this, uh, before we call this season done. That, uh, I don't know if I'm going to pull that off, but e even if I get nothing else done on the island, I really want to get that river done. And the other thing is I got a very sad email from Cube Toast. Cube Toast is the hosting provider that we're using for CoffeeCraft. And apparently they are shutting down. So on Thanksgiving, we all got an email saying that Cube Toast was closing down in December. And uh, we're sorry, but uh, that, that it's the end, my friend, the end. Yeah, yeah. That 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 that's been part of the that's been part of the the. I don't even know how to describe it, but uh, I I like finishing. I I don't like that I've got so many unfinished projects, but then again, I had unfinished projects at the end of season zero. I had unfinished projects at the end of season one, and. Uh, there does seem to be a bit of family history in for starting projects and not finishing things, so... Hey, you, you didn't have to agree that quickly. <laughs> um, we are looking at Nodecraft right now. If you've got any suggestions for a hosting provider that's in about the same price point at, and quality level that Cubed Host has been, I'm all ears. Uh, right now, Nodecraft is looking like it's going to serve serve us in no small part because they have, <laughs> right now they're offering a concierge service for uh, people leaving Cubed Host. So, uh, if you get in touch with them before a certain date and time, they will, they will actually have one of their people work on moving your server over settings and all. And, uh, and, and just, uh, they guarantee it will work just like it did before. And, and right now, as you can kind of tell, my time, attention, and focus has been a little scattered and I really, really like the idea of having some having somebody else be in charge of the server the server move. I forgot something. Um, so I, I would I would deeply appreciate having a concierge service come and just move everything for me, and, and not have to worry about uh, not have to worry about that. Yeah. Uh, so. Honestly, if I if I don't find anything worthwhile by December first, I'm just going to go ahead and go with Nodecraft because again, Nodecraft was on the short list of servers when we were first looking for one uh, near the middle of season zero. Uh, for for season zero we, and. <laughs> For season zero and pretty much everything we had done prior to then before we started uh doing the live streaming and all that we were running we were running the server off of one of my old computers on the home network so season zero was on my old alienware mx uh mx8 i think 
uh, basically it was my old Alienware workstation laptop. And, uh, you know, it, it did the job, but once we started to get to where we were doing live streaming and recording and the kind of builds that you do when you're live streaming and recording, uh, the, the, uh, how shall I put it gently? The performance was inadequate for our current needs. <laughs> does that, does that work? Is that, is that nice enough? Is that good enough? So, yeah, we, we ended up looking for a hosting provider. Nodecraft was one of the three on the short list, and we ended up going with Cubed Host, which has been a wonderful service, and it's one that I had recommended for, for as long as we were on it. Just, you know, life happens. I get it. They, they're running into problems. Uh, they've had some ups and downs, and COVID kind of accentuated it down, according to the... Well, at least as long as you're reading between the lines of the the press release. And uh, and I get that. When everybody's budget is slimming, one of the one of the things to go is servers. Game servers. I, I can't be I, I mean, I can be mad if I want to, but it's not rational mad. But uh that 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 is one of the things that we we all had a big uh I say big there's four of us <laughs> we we had a coffee craft meeting about that recently just to kind of get a, get a get a handle on timing and ideas and so far most of the other server services that I that I was looking at are all bare metal services so they're wonderful if you want to micromanage the server but part of what we were looking for when we were looking for a hosting provider was i didn't want to have to keep micromanaging the server i spent a lot a lot of time uh, dealing with patches and windows updates and java updates and server jar updates. You know who doesn't want to have to deal with that? This guy. I mean, if that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. Don't, don't, don't hear it. I'm not saying, but uh, it was kind of nice having having somebody manage the the server stuff for me. And all I had to do is decide when we were ready to upgrade and that kind of thing. Uh, I am kind of kind of disappointed that we didn't get a chance to upgrade the Skyblock to 1.17. That was part of the initial plan. Just the the updates between Spigot and U Skyblock weren't connecting in a way that made that feel reliable, a and I did not want to lose everybody's hard work. Uh, especially given, you know, how long projects like that take. <laughs> I, I, I do try to, I do try to take care, take care of everybody. Often, usually, mostly. Oh, by the by, uh, I want to say it was last Friday. Yeah, last Friday. During the live stream, we had talked about tech... Oh, that's why I'm not going anywhere, because of that glass. Okay. Uh, last Friday, we had talked about tech gift ideas, because Daily Tech News Show was doing a special. That special did air on Thursday. It is available at dailytechnewsshow.com. Um, the first recommendation sounds awfully familiar, and I will, I will publicly, on air... Credit Rayest with making the suggestion that ended up making the show. There you go. There, there. All right, you happy? Oh wait, that's right. She's not on chat today. I, I will have to find. <laughs> say that. 
Uh, Reyes, you can get away from Beach Duck's keyboard. <laughs> oh, it's a Christmas miracle that I'm giving you giving you credit for the suggestion that made made the show. Such a middle child. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay on too long today. I, I actually thought that redstone bit was gonna take longer than it than it did. Because every time I try to work on redstone it, it always goes uh Huh? What'd you say? That's somebody what? No. That the if you missed last Friday's live stream, I highly recommend uh, going back if you're trying to figure out tech gifts to give friends and family and that sort of thing, because we go through a wide array of options, and uh, the the multi-headed USB cable is, is definitely one that uh, that makes an excellent stocking stuffer it solves so many problems i still have a couple of them i keep one in my bag with me all the time uh i i keep one at work all the time and, and yeah it, it's just the best thing i ever found all right so here's the question do i want to go ahead and start trying to work on Get it fogging up that line of glass. Although I do want to put, I do want to put at least two more rock formations that way. And part of what I'm worried about, and what I want to see is, I want to see, I, I want to see how much of this bottom layer of stuff is visible through the fog. Because if uh, if all you, if you're not going to see the texture, if you're not going to see the detail. I, I'd just as soon throw gray wool down here so you, you get the sense of a wall without actually having to worry about, you know, providing said wall. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let me, let me, let me finish connecting this up and then, and then I'll do a time check and see where, where things are from there. But uh, definitely, definitely go get the Daily Tech News Show episode. There's a lot of wonderful gifts, and if you got the time, you're looking for an hour to kill. Uh, check out the live stream replay over on the YouTube channel, which is in the channel description uh, somewhere. Tw Twitch kind of rearranged things, and I'm not entirely sure where all my links have moved around to. And I've noticed that it is especially interesting finding stuff on mobile. Because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why why would why would somebody make it easy to to find? <laughs> I think on. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get everybody together for one last stream on the 31st or not uh whether we are or aren't i almost certainly will be logging in with my admin account instead of my normal one so that way at the end of the season i can do a walkthrough and actually like open doors and stuff and get a top-down view and camera mode and that kind of thing uh okay <laughs> Because right now, if I wanted to do a tour, it, it's going to be... And there's a pretty building. There's a door. There's stuff behind the door. Trust me. I've seen it. I mean, not recently, because I can't open the door, but... All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Last stack. Hmm. Am I going to end up putting something else over there? I am going to end up putting something else over there. I don't know what. But I'll drop something in there. And 
that's also been very interesting keeping tabs on uh, what else has been going on because a lot of podcasts took the took the holiday off some of them took uh, the long weekend off others are doing shorter episodes uh, I also took the the cord killers feedback from last Friday and sent it in uh, they did not read it on this past Monday's show. Yeah, it is the season. They did not read it on this past Monday's show, but I also figure they probably had the lineup uh, squared away <laughs> before before any of that got in. So, all right, do I want to just toss uh, just toss one of these guys up there? Oh wait, no. I can I can do this the yep. Let me just swim up this waterfall here. And we'll try to get a look at what's been done so far. I know Medic's working on building the same the same, just for a little bit of the river there. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. That's not bad. Let's try this again. That's not bad. Even even with just the the two two layers of glass, I can already see a fair a fair fogging of the rocks down there. So I am a little worried that this guy is not going to be visible. I may I may go back and put the glass. Oh wait, no, because that's going to be on the on the layer above it. I might not be able to do the the rocks after all, because that that border that shows up around the rocks is kind of I don't know. I don't I don't like it, and I may I may go back and fill in the glass under there like I didn't think I had to, because that that does not look pretty. But we'll see. We'll see how that works out. In the meantime, I probably need to run by a boatload more glass and blue dye. Because, uh, yeah. That's two, almost two, of three blue layers. And then the real fun begins because, oh, I'm going to, yeah, I need to, I need to crank up the cactus production because I'm going to need the green for the two cyan layers there. And what I have stored up is certainly not going to be enough. I need to get some more coarse dirt put together. I need to get some more podzol put together. So I can keep working on the shoreline. But I, I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the wall first instead of instead of the shoreline. Yeah. Yeah. And then I still got to figure out how I'm going to do that bowl. I really think that what I'm going to do is have this come out in differing sized semicircles. So like that blue will be there. I'll get the border around it. And then the next layer of glass will come out a little bit further and in a different shape. And so on and so forth for the rest of them as well. And, uh, and maybe, maybe I can make it pretty before the end. And I still got to do that too, a guardian farm. Uh, I'm curious though, if I can get a guardian farm that turns on and off. Because what's better than a guardian farm? One that you've automated. 
Where is my prismarine? Of course, that's enough to start with. Um, you know? How many magma blocks does it take? Not to get to the center of a titsy-old titsy pop. But to, to cover... To cover the uh, the bottom of a chunk. Don't mind me. I'm just starting a project. I know I probably shouldn't start yet. No worries. <laughs> Alright, let me get two hoppers. How many how many hoppers do I have left? All right, I've got 40 hoppers out of a max of 50. I think... Wait, why is there five monsters? There should be four. Unless the horses are counted as mon the skeletal horses are counted? No, because then if the skeletal horses were counted as monsters, I'd have more than that. Because if it's not counting what's in the nether, then it should be one, two, three, and then four. If it is counting the nether, I've got the three zombie pigmen. And then that guy there, which would be four. Who, who got walled in like a cask of Amontillado or something? There's definitely one monster in there. Is there a monster at the end of this book? Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> Does anybody actually remember that? Am I am I the only one? Please tell me I'm not the only one. All right, those guys aren't. Hey, hey. Thanks, mom. Those are all animals. Those guys are animals. Where? What other monster would be in here? I mean, some of the prices these guys charge are monstrous, but that's not... Alright, getting distracted. Okay, let's try this one more time. I need... I'm going to need some cobblestone slabs, I think. Oh, I'm going to need some redstone to work with, too. Not just the redstone blocks, but I'm going to need some dust. I'm going to need a couple torches. I'm going to need a comparator and maybe a repeater. I'm going to need some wool. Yeah. Where's my, uh, where's my prismarine wool? Prismarine. Uh, if you were to grab a wool color to represent redstone for prismarine, let's grab some cyan. Oh, I need to, I need to clear the water out of this chunk first. Huh. I think what I want to do is I want to put slabs down here, which will set them up as regular a, a, as regular blocks, and then put the storage over here. Oh, I'm gonna need four four chests, four chests, and then yeah, I'll put the storage in front 
I'll put the control mechanism in front because I do want to make sure that this has an automatic shutoff. That, that's been a, uh, on a, it's one of the things that I really tried to do for all the farms and almost succeeded in season one after some of the entity issues in <laughs> season zero. Uh, and I definitely want to keep up that theme of trying to make sure that uh, we, we, we don't have those sorts of laggity lag issues. And I think I'm going to go like that. No. No, I had to write the other way. Because I'll have that going on that side. That going there, that going there, that going there. Uh... Uh, we got a, because I'm basically doing the same idea over there. going to go there. It's going to power that block there. Which... Yeah. Which will have a torch here. Uh, actually, I wonder... I could actually uh, pack this in a little bit tighter. And put that there. Put that comparator there. Go like that. Go like that. And then That works. So same basic deal, just a little bit tighter, and I don't have to worry about stuff spawning, uh, or <laughs> not just stuff, but slimes spawning. Although, let's uh, let's go ahead and belt and suspenders this one, and go ahead and put a carpet up there. Ah, uh, no, it's a moonrise. I mean, that is the sunset down into the void. And my square moon. Actually, I, I like that. That's uh, I like that. That's a lot more compact than what I got going over that way. Although, that also means that I can pull a second comparator output from here. And I actually don't need that there. I can put. Oh, I can put one there, because I'm going to go ahead and get a regular rail there. And... That... Yeah, that might have to... Alright, I'll think about that one in a minute. What I need to do is I need to find a way to clear this out uh, relatively quick. Yes. 
Uh, I know that it's a math formula based on the number of slots and how much of a proper stack is in those slots. Like, because uh, ender pearls and eggs only stack up to 16. They, it's some ratio of how full a stack per each slot. And, and that's why it took me three, four tries to get this guy going over here earlier. Because uh, I, I started to take the signal out of this, but you end up with that where it's not enough collecting in there to differentiate it meaningfully from a regular drop-off. And I didn't want the system getting triggered every time it dropped off. So I'm sitting here doing, doing uh, I was going to say mental math, but it's more like mental gymnastics, unlike the parkour that I'm failing at. Going, okay. So I've got this power coming off of as full as this is going to get. <laughs> oh, wait, no. I wasn't done with the uh, cyan yet. Uh, I, so if I subtract 3 from 15 and then subtract that out of what the chest pulls, then I'll get enough to turn this on and... and the, this was a, a long bit of trial and error. And the only reason why I put that repeater there is because if I use redstone dust there, it's going to go forward and to the right and start feeding into this comparator, altering what it puts out from here. Because, you know, we, we can't have simple things. I, I guess that's the way it goes, at least... Or at least that's the way it seems to go. Let me take a quick uh, power nap here, and then I'll try to get I'll try to get the track down for for the for the guardian farm, or at least the general idea. Uh, these slime blocks will be a nice way to get a quick clear out of it. I guess the big, oh, the big problem is getting these redstone blocks in place too, and making sure that I don't get murdered by slime while I'm putting, uh, <laughs> while I'm filling this in, because the whole reason why I have this waterlogged platform here is to remind me that this is a slime chunk. If glass wasn't at such a premium, I'd almost be tempted to make the floor out of green glass to remind me of that. Why shouldn't I make the floor out of green glass? Do I have enough green to make it out of green glass? I mean, on the other hand, I need, I need green for the cyan up there. Or do I just use green wool? Uh, I have no shortage of green wool. Something so that way I remember that this is a slime chunk. Oh, man. Uh, although, in that case, that would put the rail at that level anyway. Because I'm not... I want to keep a layer of something underneath just in case bad things happen. And it gives me one last floor to catch stuff on. Yeah, I might... You know what? Yeah, I'll do that. There's no good reason to, but I'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and take some of the green wool. No. Uh, I'm going to take some of the lime green wool. So that's going to match the uh, slime chunks a little bit better. And there that goes off again. And... It'll kick in with all these sheep as they eat. Although I could also do one quick shear. Look at all those sheep. Except these guys. I, I don't need any more of that. Nobody needs that really except for the challenges. Uh, I need regular rail. I need powered rail. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm going to need more power drill. I'm going to need a lot more power drill. Do I have any gold? Because I think I've been trading those with the zombie pigmen as soon as I get gold. Now, I got no spare 
gold. That might be that might be a thing for later in the weekend. Is to go ahead and just uh, get get some of that going. All right, I'll put down what I can and try to get uh try to get as much put together for the guardian farm as I can. I am not going to do this as a guardian farm slash AF uh, slash XP farm like I did in season one. I don't have a very good reason for why I'm not going to do that now that now that it actually comes down to thinking about it. But I'm not. <laughs> so. Yeah, cause I, I just I just need the I need the stuff. Although now, uh, not so much stubborn, lazy. That kind of thing is probably gonna take more work than it's worth this close to the end of the season, and that that's kind of the problem I ran into with the. Uh, the 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 shoot the red and green nether trees um the stems <laughs> crikey my brain ow oh, i should have made this one more to the left <laughs> i should have made that one more to the left All right, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. can't believe I did that. No, actually, I can very much believe that I did that. All right. Let me, uh, let me just move everything over this way. One block. Yep. Yep. Smooth. <laughs> oh. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Okay. Deep breath. Ooh. There we go. And then a powered rail there and a regular rail there. What mistake? I didn't make any mistakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, is it coming at 119? I thought it was coming in 1.18. Or did they move it? And I, I missed the announcement. Because I, I really thought that that was coming up in, in uh, 1.18. Although I haven't been paying as close attention to the snapshots and releases as I usually do. And I have very, very mixed feelings about that. On the one hand, uh, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Six, six. And I'll drop a redstone block there. I mean, uh, on the one hand, uh, I'd really like to be a little bit better informed about what, what's coming up. On the other hand, I also don't want to be so overwhelmed with all the all the uh, all the stuff with all the everything.
Is that uh, an inefficient use of redstone? Absolutely. Am I caring? Nope. Not, not today. <laughs> I guess I guess my biggest concern is having only one having only one cart running for an entire chunk. It is going to be slightly I don't know if one cart's going to be enough. I think if this ends up a an actual productive farm, which it might, uh, I might end up overloading the cart system. That is that is that is moderately concerning, concerning, disconcerting, all of the above. Um, man, bundles, bags, backpacks, this, an extra, just, just an extra row in the inventory. Look, we got all this monitor up here. We got all this monitor down here. You, you, you telling me that we can't, you know, get, give me a double chest worth of actual personal inventory, please, please, Mo Yang, pretty please. I, I would greatly appreciate it, as would a great number of other Minecrafters. All right. Bog standard collection system. That's not what I want to do. I wonder if they'll ever get around to making soggy wool a thing. When you put wool in water, but what would what would it do? Would there be a good purpose for uh, for soggy wool? Does it give you a cold? Oh no, that's just soggy wool socks. Uh oh. Sarcastic remark incoming in five, four, three, two. <laughs> I didn't say anybody wanted soggy socks. I was just wondering, you know, what happens if you accidentally put wool in water? Uh, I mean, what what does waterlogged wool, what could waterlogged wool do? Not saying you'd want it, but I'm sure it could be made to do something. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, I thought it was the Soggy Bottom Boys. Or, or was that only in Oh Brother Where Art, though? There's a movie I haven't seen in a while. Might have to watch that again. I caught somewhere in the credits that was kind of, sort of, loosely <laughs> based on the Odyssey. Or maybe it was the Iliad. Now, now, I'm, now I'm losing track of my lore and stuff. E either way. Uh, when they said loosely, very, very loosely, like somebody slept with a copy under their pillow loosely. Not actually read it, just, you know, that's all they did was have a copy of, of the Iliad or the Odyssey or whichever it was under their pillow. Uh, I'm going to need more power drills. I think I got enough rails. I'm going to need a little few more power drills. Uh, for now. Since I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up early. Let me mob proof these slime blocks. Because things can spawn on slime blocks. Who knew? 
And this is the start. I'm going to get my collection system together. Uh, two, <laughs> two stacks of magma blocks are definitely not going to be enough because I've already gone through two stacks of lime wool. Uh, hmm. Maybe maybe I'll be furiously mathing out how many how many magma blocks I need for a chunk. I mean, there's always the question of do I do I really want? Oh, um, yeah, I know it's really the iron golem spawning is really weird, and there are some uh, conditions you would not expect that will actually cause them to spawn in places you wouldn't. You wouldn't imagine they would, even even in uh, even in a Java edition. And I think I'll uh, do a quick little searcheroo to see if there there's a uh, maybe I'll see if there's a rail duplicator that works, just so I can get it quick and get this finished finished. Oh, yeah, well, it really does seem like Mo Yang has a love-hate with iron farms. Like, they, they want to make sure that you can do an iron farm, but they also want to make sure that it's not quite like, you know, a Psycraft iron farm. And then guys like Tango Tech build these amazing, <laughs> super compact, super productive iron farms that just... Anyway... All right, let me, uh, like, I, like I said on all the announcements, I'm finishing up early. We've got family in town, so I want to make sure that I spend some time with them. Have fun. Enjoy. Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is definitely Coffee Craft. Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is normally Games Revisited. It's on a little bit of a hiatus for at least the calendar year. I hope to do, uh, I'll probably do a, a special uh, stream at somewhere where I can find the time to wrap it up because it's probably going to take a day, that, that like a Saturday, that I got nothing else going on to finish. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> but if you follow on Twitch, you'll get notified when I go live and all the archives go up on YouTube. And let's see who's available for raid. Somebody's usually available. Oh. Ooh, choices. Choices, choices, choices. Uh, Impulse is playing Minecraft. Grimly is working on his chatbot. And Beastlord J is playing Dark Souls. It looks like Beastlord could use a little more company. So let's go give him a raid. I'm going to get that started and hit the title card. Stick around for the raid. Have fun. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.